you might be thinking that this is like Windows NT 4.0, but it's not. <laughs> it's Project 97, a Windows 2000 mod that tries to replicate the feel of NT 4.0 and make it like the next version of it. Let's check it out. Jumping fast to the graphical setup. Hmm. The boot screen doesn't come up either from NT 4.0 or Windows 2000, right? Well, because this boot screen style is from a beta build of Windows 2000, precisely built 1906, although it's a little bit different. After we get past the boot screen, you can see that the background looks like the Windows 95 or NT 4.0 version. But for the rest of the setup, such as dialogues and setup, inside is in quote forked from Windows 2000 with different formats and strings. After the mod and VMware tools has been installed, here we are in the Project 97 login screen, which prompts you to use Control Alt Delete to log on, which, for a fun fact, you can still do it in Windows 11. After we've put in the password, you can see that there is the Windows NT 5.0 desktop background, which I think it's accurate to some builds? Well, put some images of the Windows NT 5.0 desktop with that background there, if it's accurate. Before we do anything, we are greeted with the Welcome app, which does exist in 95 and NT 4.0, if I remember correctly. Okay, the desktop feels like Windows 95-ish and Windows NT 4.0, in my opinion. That's the vibe I'm getting, and I admit, it's great! Alright, going to the start menu, the log off administrator option is added and the font used in this menu is MS Sans Serif rather than Tahoma which Windows 2000 uses. Opening the Windows Explorer, the graphic in this is just aesthetic. It brings me the Windows 98 feel with the design belt, since this one is literally named Project 97, so yeah. Next, control panel. Some of the applets are changed slightly. The devices applet, which is essentially a row of hardware, is changed with this red distinct design that Windows never officially had. The design makes it interactive for you to choose what you want to do with your hardware. This incredible wizard design comes from build 1723 with tiny difference. The add on program applet was changed to a simpler version. The powerful administrative tools has several new applets such as Backup, File Server Management, Remote Access Admin, User Manager, and NT Diagnostic. There are several additional applets like Console, ODBC, Server, and Services applet. While some applets are added, one more applet was changed, well, slightly, and without me telling you the difference, you won't know anyway. This system properties layout is a spitting image of Windows 2000 built 1691. Now that's what I call very detailed modding right there. Opening display properties, the effects tab was renamed back to plus because well, that tab is, is originally a plus feature in Windows 95, but somehow added in Windows NT 4.0. The sound screen within this mod has been changed to use Circa Windows RD8 and Windows May sounds. Many desktop backgrounds have been added in here, either tiled backgrounds or image backgrounds. And there is no drastic changes in the screensaver. As well as window theme. But there is one interesting thing that I found. Well, when I open certain files, ouch, maybe not the JPEG file. <laughs> when I open a certain file format such as, well, text document, there will be an option to quickly view it, cleverly self-titled, quick view. Anyways, you might have known before that this mod is based on Windows 2000, and this incredible mod was made by Aurorarian, which you can check her out on the Discord server. 
as well as the Windows Modpedia wiki, which I am proudly part of. You can check them both in the description of this video. Speaking of the WinVer, this mod uses the 9x version of WinVer, a nice little detail. Moving right along, here's some system applications. Internet Explorer, which uses version 6 with this incredible about dialogue animation that Windows NT 5.1, another mod by Honorarian, also uses. Windows Media Player in this mod is using version 6. Games like Solitaire are maintained in here. The quadrinity of Windows System apps, those being Calculator, Notepad, Paint, and WordPad. Other default apps are either maintained or downgraded like Imaging which is the same version as Windows 2000, Task Manager which is taken from NT4.0, MS Config that doesn't come up by default in Windows 2000, On-Screen Keyboard, Windows Help that was reverted to NT4.0, Address Book from NT5.0, as well as Outlook Express. Character map, which is from Windows NT 4.0. Net meeting, surprisingly downgraded to version 2.1. And wait, wait for it, the unexpected clock app from Windows 3.1. And by that, do you think that the mod is finished? Well, no, we're not. There's an extra pack for this mod that you can install to get a bunch more customization as well as application in this mod. Let's start off with the desktop background. We got too many of them, which consist of landscapes, events, computer graphics, and several other things. Screensaver also has so many additions, although well, some of them don't work as intended. As for additional programs, we have some interesting apps like Alarm Clock, Object Packager, Paint It, which is very fun, Private Character Editor, Card File from Windows 3.x and earlier? Oh, and also Calendar? Well, but we do have one more thing. We have some entertainment apps like Play It that's not even responding. Toolkit, which says, Get everything Windows to 10,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's help this channel reach 10,000 subscribers. Well, apart from that, we have the 95 version of Windows Media Player. Now, let's get to the fun part? I don't know. Well, there are some additional games such as Tic Tac Ticks. I really don't understand how this works. We have the classic cover that was originally bundled with the Windows 95 installation CD. And we have Golf that has absolutely nothing to do with the actual Golf for some reason. And for all audio file people, the extras pack adds so many sound schemes ranging from Windows 95 to Windows 2000 Beta 3, as well as several additional sounds. Now you can choose however the system sounds like, or you can add your own twists to the sound scheme. This is actually a good take on an alternate scenario if Windows NT 4.0's look and feel continued through Windows NT 5.0, so I definitely recommend this one for you to check it out. But don't forget to always...